Welcome to the Upper Room Chapel. I'm Lilia Ramirez, Administrative Program Manager of EMEA's Ministries, and welcome you to this holy space. Wherever and whenever we gather, we come together to pray with and on behalf of the world. As partners with you on this journey, we are so honored to have this time to breathe to pray together. As we gather today, we find ourselves here in the United States beginning to emerge from the pandemic of COVID-19. Even as our hearts lighten, we acknowledge that COVID continues in places around the world. And the pandemic of racism and discrimination continues to rage. As we begin our time of prayer, let us open our hearts and minds to the presence of the Holy One. Take some deep breaths. Breathe in the love of God and exhale any fear, tension, or worry. The scripture reading for today is 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verses 7 to 9. I'm going to read from the New International Version. Therefore, in order to keep me from becoming considered, I was given a thorn in my flesh, a messenger of Satan to torment me. Three times, I pleaded with the Lord to take it away from me. But he said to me, my grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. Therefore, I will boast all the more gladly about my weaknesses, so that Christ's power may rest on me.
I want to share this illustration I heard some time ago. I do not know who the author is, but I think it goes very well with today's message about facing our fears. This is the story of a boy who was afraid of darkness. And his mother asked him to grab her a can of tomato sauce from the pantry and bring it to her. The boy was afraid to go alone because the pantry was a dark place. To encourage him, his mother told him, don't be afraid, son. Be confident because Jesus is going to be there with you. In the middle of the darkness, Jesus is with you. The fearful child went to get the tomato sauce. He opened the pantry door. He tried to look inside. Everything was very dark. He was so scared. So he whispered, Jesus, if you are there, pass me the tomato sauce. Over the years, Many people have tried to explain the nature of Paul's thorn. One of the Spanish version of the Bible says, I suffer from something very serious. Some people argue that it could be a temptation, an illness, trouble speaking. Well, the point is that no one knows for sure what Paul was referring to, but we do know that he was not a perfect human being. He had problems and fears like any of us. Without a doubt, difficulties, challenges, illnesses, temptations, or problems in general can cause us fear. And sadly, problems and fear are part of life. There is nothing that we can do to avoid them, but what we can change is the way we deal with them. I imagine Paul's despair when with faith he asked to God to take away that suffering, that serious problem that he had not once, not twice, but three times. And it seems like God did not answer his prayer because that thorn was not removed from his life. I don't know about you, but sometimes something that scares me the most is not the darkness, like the child in the story, but seeing that God does not answer my prayer because then comes the uncertainty of not knowing exactly what God plans is for my life. I firmly believe that God hears our prayers and answers them but we can get three different answers from God. Yes, no, or not yet. And in Paul's case, God's answer was obviously not positive because he was still suffering from that thorn. So there were two options left for Paul, no or not yet. But God, who is merciful, did not answer to Paul in an authoritative way, as many of us can answer to our children when we are tired to hear the same question over and over. Mommy, why not? Daddy, why not? And we say, no, because I said so. Rather, God told him something else that brings him comfort and strength. God said to him, my grace is sufficient for you. In other Bible versions, it says, my love is enough for you to overcome your fears. Or my love is all you need to get out of that problem you have. However, when we are not aware of this promise, we are filled with more anxiety because we like to know all things, to know exactly what will be God's solution to our problems. We like to know when, how, and where God is going to solve our problems. One of the faith challenges we face is to be able to rest in the will of God and to trust that God will guide us 
Because God's grace, God's love, my brothers and sisters, is accompanied by everything that we will need. Let's trust that God's grace, God's love is enough for us. God will provide everything little by little so that we can overcome our fears and problems. Amen. Let us join together in prayer for wisdom to teach and guide us, for the leaders of nations and all in authority, for justice, peace, and freedom among all peoples of the earth, for a just and merciful end of the pandemics of COVID-19, systemic racism, any kind of discrimination, poverty, war, violence, and domestic abuse around the world, for the equitable distribution of the COVID-19 vaccine, for those suffering physically, emotionally, spiritually, and economically, for those feeling fearful, lost, and alone, for all who are mourning the death of loved ones, the death of dreams, the death of hope, the death of faith. We join our voices with all the saints and angels of God. Let us offer ourselves and one another to the living God through Christ, amen. Thank you for joining us today and remember, you are beloved and you are not alone. God's grace is enough. Go in peace. Amen. <laughs>